mirroring in ZBrush. So there are three types of mirroring in ZBrush, the first of which is to be found inside the geometry palette. So in here you'll find underneath modified topology, there's a mirror and weld option. If I hit that, I'm going to take everything from the left hand side of my screen and mirror it over to the right hand side of the screen. However, I'll just undo that. If I want it the other way around and I want the right hand side of the screen to be mirrored over to the left, I will first have to flip everything over to that side in order to mirror it back. The way to do that is the second type of mirroring or flipping in the ZBrush and that's underneath the deformation palette. At the top of that, you'll see that there's a mirror option and that will now flip this. So I can hit this a couple of times. So I've now flipped this over to the left hand side of the screen. If I go to geometry, and now hit mirror and weld, it will take everything from that left and mirror it over to the right. So this is fine and well when you have a subtool that doesn't have subdivisions on it, but what if you do? So for example, if we divide this, we now have a model with subdivisions on it, and I go to my modify topology and hit mirror and weld, it will tell me that I can't do this to a mesh with multiple subdivision levels. Uh, nor will it allow me in the deformation palette when I hit mirror to flip the model from one side to the other. So the way around that is to go to the Z plugin uh, palette and underneath Subtool Master, you'll find a mirror option there. If we select this, um, I'm just going to, there are two different options here, merge into one subtool and append as a new subtool. First thing I'm going to do is append as a new subtool and I'm going to hit OK. What this is now doing is it's taking your original I'll, I'll go into solo mode here so we can see this this is my original model which by holding down shift i can open up a second palette which has two subdivision levels and it's mirrored that and created two subdivision levels so it has done the job for us and maintained those subdivision levels i'm going to delete this temporarily if i didn't do this uh, if i went into uh, the subtool master mirror and I said merge into one subtool it's going to take everything that's on the right hand side and merge it over to the left hand side and vice versa everything on the left and merge it over to the right so you'll see now when I put this together it's going to combine these two meshes and we now get a mishmash of both of these combined elements put together which is just not working the left lower brow is over here the right higher brow is over here etc so this is probably not what you want to do even though it does maintain the subdivision levels. So probably if you're using this mirror and weld, you, you may want to use it um, because you want to maintain the subdivision levels on a new object. Hope this makes sense. Bye.